welcome to Comcast Newsmakers, bringing you news and information from people making a difference in our communities. I'm Beverly Weaver, and joining me now is Greg Liptak, the president and founder of Greg's Cancer Foundation. Welcome. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, Beverly, and thanks to Comcast for giving us an opportunity to talk about our program. Most definitely. Now, why did you set up this foundation, Greg? This is really coming from the heart for, for both you and your wife. Yes, Beverly, it is. My wife and I lost our 36-year-old son, Greg, a great athlete all of his life to this dread disease at age 36. Many think that this cancer um, only affects old people, mm. and that's not true. This year, for example, there will be 151,000 people that will be diagnosed with this cancer. 51,000 will die from it. And between 15 and 20 percent of those who do pass away will be young people. Hmm. This, uh, Beverly, is the same cancer that took the life of Katie Couric's husband, Jay Monahan, at age 42. So one night, as the end was near for our son, uh, my wife and I were in the hospice with him at about 3 a.m. And my wife said to me, we have to do something about this. Our son cannot have died in vain. Mm. We have to figure out a way to get this message out to young people so that lives can be saved. Yeah. As a result of that, we then proceeded to develop and uh, we filed for and became a not-for-profit co uh, corporation called Greg's Cancer Foundation. Mm -hmm. And the goal is very specific, and that is to alert young people to the danger of this disease, which will take more people in the U.S. Uh, than breast cancer yeah. this year. It's the second worst uh, cancer. Yeah, and you don't you don't hear it discussed very often, Greg. Should young people be screened for this disease? Because as we all know, the first colonoscopy is supposed to happen at age 50, which seems late. Yes, the latest medical information, and by the way, all of this information is on our website uh, that people can access. It's at gregscancerfoundation.com. The latest medical information indicates that if there is a cancer of any kind, not just colorectal cancer, but a cancer of any kind in the immediate family, hmm. parents, siblings, uh, even grandparents, that young person should be alert to the possibility uh, that this disease uh, could affect them. Yeah. And so as early as mid-20s, they should go to their doctor, and they, there can be a very uh, non-invasive genetic screening mm. of the individual at that young age. Right. And then that person should follow it <laughs> so that uh, possibly convincing their doctor because of the disease in the family, that right. there ought to be a colonoscopy. Hmm. Sometimes if doctors authorize it uh, for a young person in the 30s or 40s, the insurance companies will pay for it. Yeah. Uh, but the real important test is a colonoscopy. Yeah. That's the definitive test to find out if an individual has colorectal cancer. Yeah. And in terms of what young people should be looking for in terms of symptoms, um, maybe yes. you can talk a little bit about what Greg saw and yes. what other people should be looking for. With our son, there were no symptoms until the last, the last couple of months of his life. And that's one of the dangers of this disease that you really have to be sensitive. For example, uh, unexplained weight loss, mm. or acid stomach, mm. or a change of possibly blood in the stool, or things like that. In fact, if people go to our website, they'll find the latest list of medical symptoms that persons ought to be alert to. And so if the individual has one or more of those symptoms, it's time to go to their doc. Right, right. Visit the doctor. And your goal really is to just increase awareness among young people in particular, any age uh, that you're really focused on, Greg? We're focused on young people from the 20s to the 40s, really. Mm -hmm. And uh, for example, Beverly, um, a young woman aged 30 uh, went to our website, saw these symptoms, yeah. went to her doctor, yeah. and her doctor said that had she not come to him, she would have had the same fate as our son within wow. a year. Wow. And give us the website again real quick. Yes. It's gregscancerfoundation.com. All right. Greg Liptak, president and founder of Greg's Cancer Foundation. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Beverly. And thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Beverly Weaver.